During the jury selection process, a potential juror was sentenced to three days in jail for filming the court proceedings. Juror 1004 was handcuffed and ushered out of the courtroom after Judge Glanville reprimanded her for violating courtroom instructions. After authorities discovered a recorded video in her phone's recently deleted folder, the woman argued it was her first time as a possible juror and she didn't know she was forbidden to film proceedings. Judge Glanville didn't buy it and off to jail she went. She was released after five hours though. Contempt is punishable by a fine of $1,000 and or 20 days in jail. Number five, judge threatens YSL lawyer with jail time, assigns him an essay. Attorney Eric R. Johnson, who is representing Christian Eppinger, a YSL co-defendant, reportedly refused to buy lunch for other attorneys and Judge Glanville held him in contempt of court. The judge ordered Johnson to write a 17-page essay on the importance of professionalism in court. The essay was supposed to be APA style and include 20 primary and secondary sources. Judge Glanville made it clear that if Johnson didn't turn in the assignment, he would face 20 days in jail. It's unclear how the essay turned out. Um, how are we doing on that paper? I mean, the, the, uh, the importance of professionalism. Number four, porno gets shown to court on hacked Zoom link. During Young Thug's very first court appearance after his arrest, a fan hacked the Zoom link set up for remote attorneys. 